love it. I just feel like, um, like I first did with, with my recording career. Barbara Mandrell was once on top of the world of country music thanks to her many hits, but she retired and left that glamorous world behind in 1997 to focus on her family. But why did she make such a drastic decision? And has she ever regretted leaving it all behind? Here's what happened. Barbara was born in Houston, Texas on Christmas Day in 1948. By the time she was only 11 years old, she was already a prodigy on the steel guitar. As the years went on, Barbara's talent grew with her. She didn't just have an unbelievable singing voice. She was also able to play virtually every instrument in the band from accordion to banjo. She performed publicly at the age of 13, and pretty soon she toured in shows with legends like Patsy Cline and Johnny Cash. Her family formed a band, and she was traveling overseas to entertain military bases by the time she was in her late teens. After marrying in 1967, Barbara briefly retired, which seemed to foreshadow her later decision regarding her career and personal life. But she was inspired to try and achieve a singing career after watching a performance of the Grand Old Opry. By 1969, she had signed her first recording contract with Columbia Records. Just three years after watching the performance that inspired her, she was inducted as a member of the Grand Old Opry in 1972. Barbara would go on to have huge success in the 70s with a series of singles that combined her passion for country music with the heavy influence of R&B and soul music. She had big hits during that time with Tonight My Baby's Coming Home and The Midnight Oil. She reached her real commercial breakthrough in half of the 70s with country pop crossover singles like sleeping in a double bed and if loving you is wrong I don't want to be right then of course her smash hit I was country when country wasn't cool came out in 1981 and her personal life was thriving as well Barbara had married her husband drummer Ken Dudney in 1967 and they were really happy together they're one of the rare entertainment couples that stood the test of time and are still married to this day although their relationship was a little scandalous at first considering that Ken was initially engaged to another woman according to Barbara it was love at first sight and clearly she was right since they stayed together. The happy couple has three children and at least two grandchildren who make up their wonderful family. Everything seemed to be on a massively upward trajectory for Barbara going into the 80s. She was a major headliner of huge events and won multiple music awards, including Entertainer of the Year from the Country Music Association two years in a row. But all of that was about to change one night in 1984 when Barbara was involved in a huge tragedy that sadly cost multiple human lives. In September 1984, Barbara was was involved in a two-car head-on collision that tragically took the life of the driver of the other car. Barbara wasn't alone at the time. Two of her kids were with her in the car who also suffered injury. Barbara did not leave the crash unscathed. She had a leg fracture, cuts, a concussion, and even had to undergo surgery. Her son, Matthew Dudney, also went to the hospital, as well as her daughter, Jamie Dudney. The driver of the other car, Mark White, was only 19 years old at the time of the accident. His car crossed the center line, according to police report. The accident would be transformative for Barbara and completely completely changed the course of the rest of her life. When you go through a scary experience like that, especially one where someone else involved didn't make it, you start to reconsider how you want to spend the rest of your life. Since you quickly realize not everyone is here forever. Just a year after the crash, Barbara gave birth to a son named Nathaniel, but it was a complicated pregnancy, causing Barbara to later say that Nathaniel was a real miracle and a blessing from God. By all accounts, Barbara left her life as an entertainer behind to focus on her family. It seems like the car accident indicated to her that this was going to be the most important job she had for the rest of her life. And it seems like for the most part, Barbara did the best she could as a parent although she certainly has had her fair share of challenges. In 1970, Barbara and Ken welcomed their baby boy, Kenneth Matthew, who goes by Matt, to the world. In a sad twist of fate, Matt suffered from serious addiction problems, as well as battling mental health issues. According to Matt, the more he fell into depression, the more he turned to substances in an effort to self-medicate. But Matt had to hit rock bottom before he could begin a new direction for his life. Matt nearly burned his aunt's home down, an accident that could have been so much worse, and he realized that he needed to make a change. He got help and he credits faith as the reason he could turn his life around. He's married to a fellow songwriter, Chrissy Sutherland, and the couple had a son in 2018. That's not the only happy ending in Barbara's family. In 1976, Barbara and her husband welcomed their daughter, Jamie. Jamie found success in her own right as Miss Tennessee Teen USA and a soap opera actor who is best known for her role as Georgia on As the World Turned. Barbara has always been committed to giving everything she has, whether it's on a record, on the stage, or at home. But she was never concerned about sacrificing her celebrity status to focus on her family. Barbara has said that she has always heard she'd never be able to give up the adoration from the audience or the nightly applause for a more mundane home life. She said that she'll always appreciate the time she had in the spotlight, but she said that she prayed on it, along with her husband, and knew when the time was right to step away from it all. It wasn't a gradual thing. It was more like a light switch. 
But once it happened, there was no turning back. Barbara credits her faith, attributing the title shift in the course of her life to a push from God, adding that he doesn't steer any of his followers wrong. Barbara doesn't know what tomorrow will bring, but she's adamant that she didn't make a mistake. She doesn't mean that she's not grateful for her success. She just means that in the same glorious way God opened up the door for her to perform, there was also a door open for the opportunity to be an amazing mother. Barbara has always asserted that sweetness and character comes from suffering. She's had plenty of suffering, but her car crash taught her that she's never promised tomorrow, so you always need to make the most of today. She may have walked away from what many people would envy, a lucrative position in the spotlight with crowds cheering every night. But all that really matters are the people that we care about and the relationships we have with them. And Barbara was smart enough to understand that. Ultimately, it sounds like Barbara made the right choice for herself. But what do you guys think? Would a near fatal car crash make you reevaluate what you're doing with your life? Is it worth leaving a successful career for your family? What's your favorite Barbara Mandrell song? Let me know in the comments below.